Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barnard. I'm going to give everyone a real quick refresher on Note Flight. Uh, that is our online composition program. This is just a real quick um, lesson on how to take a score that we have, how we can save a score or a composition, how we can create it into a PDF file for submission, uh, whether that's email submission, or submitting into Canvas, in this instance, submitted to Canvas for an assignment. So I'm going to go to Safari, and I've already logged in to NoteFlight.com. Uh, when you get to the home page, around in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a thing for sign up or log in. Everyone should have created an account at this time, uh, whether that's using your email address or your own personal username and password and it should take you to this page. And here I have my scores that I have created so far. Uh, this is free, this is the free version of Note Flight, and we can create up to 10 different scores uh, without having to pay a fee, which is a pretty nice deal. So, I'm gonna just open up one of my scores. I'm gonna click on Mr. Barnard, which is based off of our composition lesson number one that we did. So I'll just do a real quick review of what we did in that lesson once we get uh, that composition loaded up. And we so far we just have an eight measure composition. So just as a refresher, we have in the first measure a four note motif that we created. This was based off of the first four letters of your name and that's our main idea, our main theme that we created. Then we took that main idea and wrote a reverse theme, which I have here. We call that the retrograde again. Then we created what's called a sequence. We took the first two measures here, and we took all the notes up one step to create a sequence of the same motif and retrograde. Then the last uh, four measures is just using repetition. So this measures five and six, we just basically repeated measures three and four. And measures seven and eight, we just repeated uh, measures one and two. And it was a real quick uh, composition lesson that we did with that. Now what I wanna show you guys where you would save a file. Here we have the cloud with the arrow we would typically hit that. Since I did not change anything in this composition, I do not need to hit save, but that's where I would hit save. To take this composition and turn it into a PDF, I need to go to file. So here I'm gonna click on file, and I am going to click on print to PDF, and it's gonna convert my composition into a PDF. So I'll hit save, and now I have a PDF version of my composition. Now I want to take this and uh, open it in Canvas. So if I click on the PDF, hit open in. It's taking a little bit here to figure it out. And I'm going to go to Canvas. Now it's going to convert my PDF and put it into Canvas. <coughs> and in a moment, there we go. It says that my file is received. So let's say we would need to turn in a composition. I'm just going to go to Wind Ensemble. It's one of the classes that I have registered. Hit Assignments. And eventually I will find Composition Project 1, Getting Started with Pitch. If I click on that, I'm going to hit Submission. Actually, there should be another composition project. That should be it right there. Let's go to this one. So I know there's going to be a problem with that other one. So I click on submission, and you'll see that I've already turned in a PDF. It does say unknown. That doesn't matter because when I open up uh, the PDF, you should have your composition title and composer name, and it shows me 
that you're the person that turned it in. So don't worry about that at all. But to turn in, we'll just hit turn in. There you saw it said turn in again. And we have this feature. If I scroll over, I find my composition, Mr. Barnard. Hit the orange box with the arrow on the bottom. Notice that turns yellow. Then I would hit submit. And there you'll notice that it has been submitted as unknown to PDF. And that's basically it. That's the basics of how to save and uh, create a PDF version of your compositions from NoteFlight and submit it into Canvas.